It has been a week since Chinese consumers expressed their outrage, mostly online, against apparel brands like H&M and Nike. Members of Swiss NGO Better Cotton Initiatives, or BCI, after it said there was forced labor in Xinjiang's cotton production and asked its members to boycott cotton products from Xinjiang. I mean, Kashi in southern Xinjiang, a key cotton production area accounting for 20% of total cotton production in Xinjiang, which is 16% of the total output in China. I've been to two counties in this area during the past four days, namely Bachu and Tumushuke, and visited cotton fields there personally. I've spoken to more than 10 people in these two places, including cotton farmers in different scale, young factory managers, ordinary citizens, and government officials on the issue of forced labor during the process of cotton farming and production. And these are my key findings. The accusations of forced labor is a false, made-up lie. It is very difficult to believe any economy with scale will use forced labor to maintain its competitiveness. Cotton production in Xinjiang is a scaled economy from a global perspective, so any outdated production methodologies will have to be obsolete. This is what the cotton farmers, the young manufacturer, and other ordinary citizens that I've spoken to said. Uyghur people are living happily here. They are employed with steady income, and if they intend to do some small businesses on their own, the government even has incentive plans and will grant subsidies accordingly. Bachu has almost 100% of the Uyghur population, while Tumushuke has about 68% of the Uyghur population. BCI's current boycott on Xinjiang's cotton prevented nearly 500,000 tons from entering the global textile supply chain, which makes about 10% of Xinjiang's annual output and 6% of China's domestic cotton consumption. This impact so far can be absorbed by Chinese domestic market and has not really caused damages significantly enough to devastate the cotton market here. However, together with the U.S. import ban, one potential impact will be global apparel brands moving their textile supply chain out of China and close to other cotton sourcing areas such as India or Southeast Asia, which also has ample labor to support the textile industry. The other worst result is it might cause certain unemployment of Uyghur people in Xinjiang who are working in this value chain and impact their life negatively. This, frankly speaking, is against human rights ironically as what Western societies advocate. BCI has not lifted its ban even after its Shanghai office issued a public statement saying that there was no forced labor in Xinjiang. We urge BCI to stand up and apologize to cotton farmers in Xinjiang. They have devoted their efforts, cultivated the quality products for global consumers. We should respect and honor them instead of lying and smearing for an underlying agenda.